Oh, yeah. What is your channel worth? If you're going to shill, how much are you going to charge? Let's talk about it. Let me hit you with a disclaimer. This show is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, humans, and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. If somebody asks you to chill to shill for them, how much are you going to charge? Do you know what your channel's worth? Do you know what your work is worth? The Amico fans back in the day didn't charge anything. They were doing all the work, as far as promotion, for free. Maybe the chance of getting some viewers, subscriptions, but not really paid as they should have, as there was a gentleman being paid $150 plus thousand dollars a year for doing what they were supposed to. <laughs> they were doing his job, basically. But when I ask people, what is your channel worth? Give me a number. Nobody knows. Nobody thinks about that because they don't think they're in business on YouTube, and you are. Let me show you something here. This conversation was actually sparked by a back and forth conversation we're having with Retro Bro and Saggy Melons. You know, I get more content from people who I disagree with than I, than I get with people that I agree with. And they're going through a lot, right, because of their affiliation with this company. And they never got paid for any of this, right? I think Saggy Melons probably got the best of it all because she monetized the hate, as she said, right? So she grew her channel. But some channels were destroyed, OEBP, Cyrus, and, and others, right? And they were never compensated for the promotional work that they did, free promotional work. But what is that work worth, right? Do you know? Well, let's take a look here. This is just a simple uh, valuation of a thousand subscriber channel. By all metrics, all simple metrics, a thousand subscribers just on commercials will bring you about 30 bucks, right? And you can prorate that, you know, depending how many thousands of subscribers you have. And now that's without tips. Alexa, stop. She's reminding me. Now this is without tips. Um, so what is your channel worth? Let's just take the thousand dollars, the thousand subscribers. So that's thirty dollars a month, three hundred and sixty a year. Number of years average is three, right? So the valuation for your channel is a thousand dollars. That's how much it's worth without tips. It might be worth more. Based on that, now you have a valuation that you can charge potential advertisers for because you're doing them a favor. What are they going to give you, 50 bucks? You can get 50 bucks in tips. They're not doing you any favors. Maybe some more viewers. But you need to know what you're worth before you give them a number. And if they're offering you a deal that's less than a 1000 I wouldn't take it because you're already making that. You already established a small infrastructure. You can break down that by month, right? You can say, okay, well, I'll, I'll promote you for $60 a month, whatever that month is, or you can set your number. But you're not going to put yourself in harm's way to lose a channel because you'd be losing about $1,000. Those channels that I spoke about had over 1,000 subscribers. And they put their, themselves in hard, harm's way. And where is the company now? Where's the company now? It looks like they're going to be talking tonight about price increases on consoles. And uh, here's, here's a thought. They could reduce the price of the consoles by having Sudesh renegotiate that $100 a console on the back end. That way you, the console could be $100 cheaper and then you don't have to worry about it. But that's probably not going to happen. The amazing part of this whole deal guys and we're just watching this like a car crash you know it reminds me <laughs> here's what they have here right we dive into collecting in 2022 and talk about most increases and excessive and expensive consoles to collect as well okay but we're watching remember this <laughs> we're just watching it from afar nobody wants to stop this train we want to watch it we want to see where it goes 
We know where it's headed, but the journey is so good. People from the arcade one up, look at this. You're watching at an infomercial made by an investor. And yes, everybody's a fan, everybody's excited, but the violations are so delicious here. Now, what is his channel worth? I don't know. At some point, at some point, something's going to happen, right? And you shouldn't expose yourself this way. It's entertaining for us to watch the, the shit show that's going on here. You could be excited for a console. I want a wood grain as much as the next guy, as much as any other in the old man cringe community. I deserve it as a veteran of the Meek Wars. But I'm not going to sell my channel, <laughs> put myself in this position, because I want a video game console. And that's without mentioning any potential fines. Again, not legal advice, not financial advice, but you shouldn't do anything to expose yourself to the FTC. That is one phone call, one email, one letter you never want to get. So know what you're worth and charge accordingly. Because at the end of the day, these companies will let your, your channel burn to the ground and those channels aren't coming back. And nobody, at least in television, is going to help them bring them back. All right, guys, that's a pregame show. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.